month, we love putting the spotlight on real San Antonians doing amazing things in their community. Today, we take you to the West Side, a coffee shop that's father-son owned, and the combination has customers coming back day after day. By the way, they're home to the original barbacoa grilled cheese and horchata latte. Good food brings good people in. The community likes it here because they know if they're going to get a plate a certain way, they're going to get it again the same way. And that's most important. By us being here, we can see that the community shares the same vision that we do of having a experience here and friendship and everything else that goes along with good good talking with others. Gilbert de Hoyos and his son are co-owners of Barrio Barista, located on the west side of San Antonio, a few blocks away from St. Mary's University. They're serving up coffee, hot meals, and conversations too, in a building that was once a meat market owned by Gilbert's parents. After traveling for many years into Mexico and coming back, and, and, and seeing that my dad still had this location and he had retired from it, he asked me if I wanted to start a coffee house here, a business, and I told him yes, a coffee house would be an excellent place to start here. And being that he was so successful here, I've always felt that it's not where you're at, it's how good your service is to others. Seven years now, their customer favorite stop. To be offering fresh coffee um, on this part of town is kind of unheard of. Um, really, there's nowhere to really get like a good cup of espresso, um, a latte over on this part of town. I'm very proud to work with my son as the barista. I love to cook and create food, so that makes it the love and the art of serving others through food. I try to put a twist um, on a lot of the coffee drinks that we offer. Yes, including a mazapan latte. Yes, as in the Mexican candy, hot or iced. And the horchata latte. Yeah, that's our signature drink. When we opened back in 2014, I believe we were the only place offering horchata lattes. And uh, now you, it seems like you can go anywhere to pick up the you know, chocolate latte, which is nice. This group went for a Reese's latte. The options are fun, and the community is getting the full barista experience. A lot of people may have never been to a coffee shop or a coffee house and don't know what an espresso is or what an Americano is. And it's nice that we're able to offer that opportunity uh, to engage and educate them on the world of coffee. Outside, you really kind of don't even look twice and just drive by until you walk in. You're like, okay, I've been missing out on this little you know, place this whole time. The building itself is more of a put together from, I want to say items that my parents had left behind that makes it real homely in here. And then the local artists have participate by hanging their pictures on the walls and it makes it a place where they can sell some art as well. Together, the father-son team is continuing the family's legacy. He's really the one that, that, that came with the vision and, um, and made it a reality. Gilbert Jr. is all about the Java and marketing. He's even teaming up with Memorial High School's culinary program to teach more about his love for coffee. People feel, I think, more proud of their neighborhood because we are part of this growth here. And they say, other people have said, why didn't you put this downtown? Well, I said, well, this is a neighborhood that we were brought up, brought up in. So it comes back to where eventually you, me, feel most at home here in my community. For SA Live. It's a home away from home. I'm Jen Tobias Jeske.